We are back. And tonight we are going to seal this rear with some silicone so that obviously it doesn't rust. Um, this stuff is super sticky, so gloves for sure. Uh, we already painted the front. You'll see it's not green anymore, it's black. Same thing, just to kind of prevent rust. But yeah, I'm gonna get this done and then we'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, so I think we left off with me resealing the rear quarter. Um, my phone had died, so I didn't get a chance to actually like show you the finished product. So I'll show it to you now. And then today we are doing the other side. So I probably won't film a whole ton, um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. But yeah, this is what my car looks like right now. <laughs> Not so pretty, um, but yeah, so it's all like, it's all sealed, um, it's all dry. Looks like my kit may hit a little bit right there. Which isn't a big deal. I just push the silicone back on there. Um, we use this type of silicone because it actually stays like a little bit moldable, so that if your body moves at all, it doesn't crack. Yeah, so there's that. And then we went a little bit on the inside so that obviously we didn't miss anywhere. And then this is the front one. So same thing kind of, but um, let's see, this is paint, and then I just did like a really thin layer of that same silicone right on the edge to make it less sharp, um, as well as like basically just cover up that edge so that it didn't rust at all. But yeah, we'll get started on the other side over here because it's still very much a stock body. And then hopefully. I'll be able to show you guys a fully wide body car soon. We just finished welding the rear quarter. Well, I should say Jordan did. The shop is a wee bit smoky, but it's done. And that is the last of the welding that'll have to be on there. Um, the kids are sleeping, so we'll zip these all off tomorrow. And then you smooth the weld out, and then we put that silicone over top to seal it like we did on the other side. Um, I'll show you the front. We've got kind of half mounted. So there's a couple of bolts in it. This is what I'm thinking about for hardware. We finally got them to actually like screw in properly. So maybe let me know what you think about the spikes. It's kind of a split opinion around here whether they're liked or not. But yeah, then I'll show you this side of the car, we'll flip it. So it is actually like permanently mounted now. Of course we'll change like hardware out. But like as far as gaps go, cause I know people were like a little concerned with the Duraflex kit. It actually like lined up really nice. Like it's only gapped here cause of our rib nuts. Come down here, it's sealed up really nice. Um, oh yeah, and we've peeled some of the wrap. Cause obviously we're not gonna put the rivet nuts through the wrap because they're the rivet in size, or the rivet in type, so you can't just pull them out. Like you actually have to drill them out, so. We got that all done. I like these ones better than the rubber ones. Um, they sit flusher to the car and they just hold them tighter because you're not worried about them falling out at all had a moment I dropped my phone but yeah we also tried peeling this up my bumper well so my whole car on this end before I had it was in an accident obviously because the quarter panel was full of Bondo but when they fixed this yeah it's just peeling and like the rear bumper underneath this was rough anyway I had to sand it a lot before I even wrapped it to make it look smooth so we'll have to do some more sanding my favorite um, just to get this kind of nice again and yeah but that's kind of where we're at for the night we might um, do more of these rib nuts since we're out here and then call our night
Holy. What do you think? That's pretty sweet. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's different though because it's not a color or like a. It's not a shift. No, it's just, it's just gloss. straight gloss 